So what are we doing today? What's the lineup? So today, we are going to do a back workout, and I might throw some biceps in, just because, why not? Um, even though I did arms yesterday, whatever. Uh, I always could use a little bit of a, a little bit of a stretch and a pump. Instincts going old, looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when I burn it down. What it is, what it do, whole click getting live on the talk of the town. Let me say he had a mouth and it wouldn't shut up. On a hunt for a crown, when they get it, I'ma burn it. Cause nobody in the game right now even deserve it. What in the Basically your back, like I said, I like doing that little like that little pull. Just so I know that I'm engaged and ready to pop off. Um, and make sure that you're fully extending, like on your way up. Make sure you get like that that thrust in, right? Um, make sure you're doing the weight that you can do for the amount of sets that you sets and reps that you're aiming for. You said it's too heavy, drop away a little bit. Make sure you're hitting your, you know, 10 to 12 or your 5 by 5 or whatever it is, right? I mean, not every day it's going to work out as well as you want to, so every day is different. Um, but yeah, that's, if you can't find a platform, like, you know, those little step-ups that most gyms usually have, um, you use 45-pound plates and just stack them. That's my imp improvise, improvisation. I said that right. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Make sure your back's fairly, like, straight, like, arced. You don't want to be basically like that. So my hand's weird, but, um... Yeah, and just make sure your form's good. Always remember, breathing technique. Hold the breath on the way up, like before you lift. So before it lifts off the bars here, make sure it's <gasps> trying to put her deep into your gut. Um, to embrace your core and let it at the top. Pretty much with every lift. Any heavy lift, deadlift, even squats. And you probably heard it all before. I mean, there's tons of fitness people on the internet right now, so. YouTube's, you know, kind of flooded with this kind of stuff, but I'm just gonna flood it even more. Safety first, right? Always. What are we doing? In the uh, pomade wide bar. Uh, lap pull down machine, or cable, whatever you want to call it. Bring all the way down to your chest. You want to stay, I don't like going too, too wide because you don't really get enough activation. You want to be like almost pretty much here, I find. You don't want to be too, like you can go wide, like really wide, but I don't know. I just think it's, it doesn't activate as well. It's uh, a little bit closer for me anyway. Everybody's different. Just find what's comfortable for you, where you feel activated. If you don't feel it activating at all, then don't do it. Find some other angle or some other exercise that's similar to it, like a pull-up, for example. <clears throat> this is basically the alternative when you don't want to do pull-ups, which is me right now. I'm gonna do four sets, 12 reps. <sighs> always try to pull like behind you, so your elbows are always going backwards. Did you lose your shirt or something? I don't know, it fell off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the bad form is this. That is a freaking no-no. Like you're like so much in front of you and you're leaning back. You're not working on your back, you gotta remember. Whatever you're pulling, behind the back is where your elbow should be. And you always wanna pull kind of like a V, right? Think of your elbows and pivot them kind of downwards. Like when you bring it down, don't just like, you know what I mean? Do elbows this. behind. Elbows behind, bar to your chest. Have your chest up a little, like your back a little arc, right? Um, 
that's basically it. Just don't do some weird shit. As you can see, some people are just, they don't know what they're doing. You see some people like this. <laughs> they're like so close. They're like, <sighs> just having a hard time. And it's like, yeah, you can see the elbows the biggest, in front of you. Yeah. Biggest thing that I've emphasized already and talked about, just ask for help. Don't be afraid. You're a fool for a minute when you ask for help, not a fool for a lifetime. We're not asking at all. That was a good quote. Lao Su. Oh, you could have taken it. You could have said Tyler Wood. Um, by me. <laughs> I made it my, my own, actually. It's not. Those weren't his words. He used some different term. I made it more modern. <clears throat> Whew. All right, last set. I actually like this one. I think it's actually better than the one I did. The resistance is a lot better. I like that there's a mirror here. I can see my form. Start to lose form mid set, and you can't do the reps that you're needed to, then drop the weight a little and do your numbered or your your set number or your rep number. Sorry, can't think right now. Make sure you get your reps in. Like, if you shit the bed when you're trying to get 12 reps, the weight's too much. You need to be able to finish your entire set with the amount of reps that you're aiming for. So that was my last set, I couldn't even, I got like six. I think those rack holes got me. My forearm strength is shit right now. I also think I have carpal tunnel from uh, arthritis. From that <laughs> auto body work. Yeah. I think I said my wrists are not as healthy as they should be for someone that works out as much as I do. That's why I use wrist straps? Yeah. Wrist straps, which I do have. Um, which we're probably gonna use for dumbbell rows because I'm not gonna be able to fucking grip it. Dumbbell row. How do you do it? Um, the way I do it is a little different. Um, I use like the rack to hold me basically. And I like to keep, because like the new thing is, it's easier to actually get a hernia now that I've done some research on it. If you're doing it this way, and you got this back here and you're like yanking it, which is fine if you got the bench and everything. But even now they're, they're emphasizing like scientists and you know fitness gurus and stuff like that. Like if you have a bench like this, to actually be in the center of it and hold your weight because the center of gravity is what's going to help you from either shifting or um, you know basically getting off balance because you're like you're like this right most people right? so it's fine I guess like I don't really have anything against it as long as you're just doing it safe or safely sorry you're safe about it but to me I find I just like doing it this way because uh, they do like I'll show you. It's, it's a little different. And some. So I'm gonna go eight reps, four sets. Can always pull to your hip. Make sure you back straight. Okay, make sure your back's got like that cat-like kind of arc to it, you know? Um, 
as straight as possible. I mean, if you have to, like when you're going heavy too, sometimes it's best to maybe strap a belt on just to keep you from uh, getting off balance and stuff and keep that core engaged. So form is really important for this one. Oh yeah, form's key, especially with this one. Um, like I said, bench or this way. I mean, I find this way, I've just I've really upped my, uh, my terrace major since doing this way. Get the lats a little more thicker. Normally you only want 30 seconds between each set. Normally. Normally. I think we're way over though. We're over that. Remember, you gotta have fun. <laughs> you, gotta have, you gotta enjoy it or else it just becomes a, a chore. It's not made for everybody. Uh, going heavy, I suggest wearing a belt so that you're more stationed and your back stays straight. But if you're just keeping it light, don't worry about it. Make sure you're aiming for your hip. Make sure you get a nice pull all the way down. You want to get that length in there and so that you get that stretch in your lats. So that's, and basically just try to station it so that you're positioned well enough. Like your center of gravity is stable. Like you are in your center of gravity when you've had your hand in front of you rather than like beside you or using your knee on a bench and stuff like that. Like you're not stable as you could be, right? And it's supposedly less, uh, you're less prone to get injury that way. So I suggest doing it that way. You can use a bench too. Um, for beginners, it's great that way too. That's what most trainers are training people nowadays how to do it. You can do this with a rope or you can do this with this, this bar here. Just All right, what are we doing here? What's going on? It's the wide grip. Uh, pull over. I mean, you've seen a ton of people do this, but you just get in position. Butt, or butt a little bit out because you're going to pull down into your hips. Yeah. So, and what you want to emphasize on, because some people pull it straight down, but you really want to, which you should, but you really want to focus actually on pulling with your elbows. So, that will activate the lats more rather than just kind of like doing a straight one. Kind of just remember to pull with your, your elbows. Get them nice lean, I'd say about a 45 degree lean to her. This actually works the wide part of your, or your upper lats and your terrace major. A little bit of your infospinatus. More or less lats. Here. burn right up in there. It's a good finisher. Um, I like to do it and then I'll sometimes superset. So I'll do like that. And probably even just drop it down. So you don't know, in case you got like a really busy gym, right? I'm just trying to drop it down and do like a low row. Which will get more of your upper back as well. It's just basically destroying your upper back more or less. Um, I try not to do too, too much lower back exercises. I usually just stick with hyperextensions, um, 
um, like rack pulls, deadlifts for that kind of matter. I can't do good mornings. I've just never done them before, like as much, so I just stopped. I, didn't, I never liked them at the beginning, so. I know a couple buddies of mine that do it every time they do leg day. And buddy can do quite a bit of weight, but I don't trust my back. So, do what is uncomfortable, but safe. <laughs> How many sets on your rest for this bad boy? I'd say about, I don't know, it depends. Like usually for a last set, you, for like volume wise, I'd go like 20 reps. But I kind of got some weight on it right now. So I'm gonna probably be like 12. But like I said, remember like you gotta be able to hold it for one to two seconds, right? They like don't just. A lot of it's technique in the gym now that I've done more and more research. Cause I used to be that guy. This one, push the weight. I mean, there's, there's time and place for it. I mean, you just wanna, when you're doing like really, really heavy, obviously you wanna get the weight up really quick. That's understandable. But technique is where you're gonna get those shredded gains. You look more defined, more toned, and just kinda, it's more or less like a bulking technique for just kinda pushing the weight more or less, right? You're getting the, the heavy weight up. You're building muscle like crazy. But you're probably just not as toned as you want to be. That one's a great finisher to really stretch the muscle fibers out after you've just beaten the crap out of them. You put a lot of blood in there and um, it really just opens it up, puts new blood in there. Um, also, just really good stretch. <laughs> good thing to stretch. It's always good to find an exercise where you can kind of stretch it out, like stretch out the muscle you've just beaten. So, like legs, lunges are great for that because um, you're really stretching out the muscle. Basically just worry about your form for back because you could really, really mess yourself up. Like you don't want to be old and be complaining about back injuries and stuff like that, right? So just be careful of back exercises. Just have good form. If you don't, just ask. I mean, it's not that hard. Just ask a trainer. There's trainers in every gym. Finito. Post. Posted. All right, I'm gonna catch my breath, and then I'm gonna do some biceps. Biceps! I don't know if I sit in my ears at all. So you did this with uh, homework fit. Yeah. Mr. Jordan Prado. Cass, which is baby, is on the way. Yeah, yeah. seen that. Congrats on that. Yes, I did this with him. What? February? Yeah. February? Yeah. He seemed to like it. I don't know if he's still doing it, but. Um, yeah, it's a good exercise. I find it just isolates the traps a bit more. What's um, it called again? Just behind the back shrug. Smith Machine shrug, sorry. Um, Some people don't believe, though. No, they don't believe in the back shrug. No, not, not, not a lot of people don't, but I find that honestly. It, Instead of the front, like, because when you're doing it in front of you, you're putting a lot of delt action into your, uh, into the shrug, because you're like, and you're like closed off too, right? Like, the way your back sits, it's behind you. Your back's not in front of you, that's why it's your back. So why not do behind the back barbell shrug? Um, a lot of, I see a lot of pros doing it now. Um, they're just doing the barbell, I just like Smith Machine, just so I don't really have to keep it in line. And I know where my ass is. So it doesn't come off my ass. Ooh. Any tips for this? Because people don't don't seem to get the good form on this one. Just keep it behind your back, more or less. Try to keep it in line with your ass too, right? Like 
It's gonna go up. If you're gonna go straight, I find leaning forward a bit and giving you that extra kind of pull to activate the, the traps more. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of people just kind of standing here. And then it rubs off your ass, kind of weird and uncomfortable. So that I just find that's probably the best tip is just to kind of give it a bit of a lean into her or out of her. I usually about four sets. Four sets are, I mean, three sets, just not enough. When you're a beginner, three sets is fine. But if you're advanced, you know, I've been doing this for a while, then I'd say four to five sometimes. I do five if I'm feeling good that day, so. Just, you know, just make sure your ass is, let's say if your ass is in the way of that big old booty, then it's just leaning forward and doing that. And using this, like you can use the, obviously the barbell, but I find I, I can't. I have to like rub my ass the whole time basically with the bar. So I found the Smith machine works best for that because you can lean forward and then you're not rubbing your ass with the bar basically. Um, make sure you hold it at the top for every exercise, like I said, one to two seconds. You're not, unless you're doing a powerlifting kind of shit, then don't worry about what I just said. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically it for barbell shrugs. And usually, it's a new thing that I've, I already knew, but uh, should always like be able to hold it for one to two seconds at the peak of the contraction of whatever you're doing. So like bicep curl, hold, down. And I like, for like negative training, like eccentric training, I like going like three seconds down, maybe even four, depending on the day. You can't keep doing it, but uh, it's good to throw it into a workout every now and again, right? Or even other, every other workout sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But the negative is where you're gonna grow the most. Because it's stretching the muscle, letting more blood get into it. More fascia is gonna rip. Um, so it has to rebuild. And rebuild you into a monster. Or a weapon, if you're a lady. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing next? I remember I got some female fans. Not very many, but I got one or two. More do. More than most. <laughs> What's the post? I guess we'll look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm done with that. That's four sets. For volume, and I said 10 to 12. For volume. Um, lighter weight. Obviously, make sure you're getting all your sets and reps in. If that's too much, lower the weight. Show some form, form tips. Form tips, same thing with barbell. Just keep your knees a little bent, like don't be sitting, don't stand like that, kind of like, just have a little bit of a, a brace to it. You know what I mean? It's just, the knees locked. Um, come forward a little bit. Uh, always supinate on the way up. So here, you're always neutral grip, right? When you start souping it, go up. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Focus on the negative. Like I said, negatives, your biceps grow the biggest off the negative. Can't really emphasize it enough. <laughs> uh, elbows tucked a little bit, and they come forward again, like the barbell. But uh, try not to do it too much when you're here. I don't even know what to call it. That'll be like our front deltoid raise, like front or front post. Anterior deltoid raise, like front raise. Basically, at that point, as you see some people, oh, they're like, eh, eh, eh. That's what? Wrong form right there. That's not the right form. That's the right form. I mean, I might have exaggerated a little bit, but you get the picture. Make sure you're not going all over the place. And make sure you get that nice little twist at the end, because it's really emphasizes right in here. The inside of the, the bicep. Oh, and uh, always try to make sure your pinkies are coming up towards you. Like it shouldn't just be straight. You should be kind of 
angled a little bit. Supinated? Well, supinated, but you gotta supinate the, I guess, supinate the wrist too. Try to aim your pinky towards like your, your chin more or less, right? So you bring it up, twisting. Not just sort of like a, like just, you know, just perpendicular kind of up. Or do a little bit of a twist. Yeah, I'll do some rope curls. Rope curls! <sighs> so this guy, you just basically grab her by the uh, the rope, obviously, but when you go, this is gonna do the outside of the brachy, brachialis. Um, so basically like the outside the outside peak, so you can see it more on this side, which I need to work on. So I've been doing this for my last uh, exercise and just doing like failure set so when you're doing it you're, you're, not, you're not letting it go all the way down because you want to keep tension on it so it's like roughly it's like your belly button what you're doing is you're going out it's basically like a tricep extension with the rope but the opposite way and emphasize on ripping it like outwards Beyond failure, whatever you can do for this one. Oh, this is the last failure set you have to do. Yeah, I always kind of just get all the blood I can in there. Photo shoot. <sighs> this one I don't really worry too much about tempo. I just kind of fire it. <sighs> And always start to keep your elbows in the same position. Just like getting like a tricep extension. Same thing, right? You're not gonna keep those elbows stationary. Same thing with that. Just try not to. Like you're gonna obviously move them a bit because you're going out, but try not to like Over. basically overextend more than you need. But so you're just extending out, right? Keep your elbows locked, straight up. Don't go all the way down. Keep like I said, keep that tension on it. So you're only gonna probably go down to about your belly button. Unless, I don't know, unless your machine's weird or something, but they're all relatively the same. Uh, yeah, so just out, you're gonna work the outside with your bicep, right on the inside. Um, it's a good burn, like a good burn, a good finisher. I like it. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. Um, that's basically it. I usually stop for failure sets, it's usually if the muscle fails or your form just goes to shit. That's usually when you want to stop. All right. Now that you, is that the last set? Yeah, that's the last set. <laughs> okay. So it was wide, like just shoulder width more or less. Always try to keep your elbows in. You should come forward a little bit, but they shouldn't be like out right here. It should be about just about there. I mean, dear. Your clavicle. Always warm up, especially biceps, because they're such an easy muscle to fucking grip and not in a good way.
because I did biceps yesterday. I'm not gonna go too, too heavy today. How many sets, how many reps? Four sets, like I said, four sets, everything. I'm always, I'm a fan of four sets. Big fan of four sets. This is your end position, right? Not here, here. And then you peak, eccentric, concentric. history of my bicep being a little strained like this one always gets more strained than this one sooner sucks but you gotta work around it and do what you can do just don't give up that's my motivational or it's my inspiration today for you <laughs> don't quit like I said I use the barbell for like the Olympic barbells for the most part just make sure your elbows are nice and tucked. Just make sure, I've talked about this before in another video, but uh, yeah, just make sure your elbows are tucked. You want your elbows to come forward a little bit, not too much. Um, and make sure it comes, that you don't go all the way down. Make sure you find that, that tension part at the end. You always have tension <clears throat> on your biceps. Uh, unless you're doing something like an overhang, sort of dumbbell curl like off a preacher bench like that. Um, but yeah, uh, those you can kind of go heavy with, but you can do cheat curls. I like doing cheat curls with those, obviously, when you got like 100 pounds on there or something. But uh, yeah, just make sure you hold for one to two seconds and make sure it's hitting your clavicle, roughly. I've seen some people kind of go with their chin. It's, it's kind of okay, too. Like it's, But you're, then you're recruiting in the uh, anterior delts. So I, I, don't know, I, I like it the odd time because you do get a bit of a extra like peak contraction sort of concentric contraction um, 